Avalanche. J and B on the rocks, or rocks as it were. So, so you've got a spelling uh, question here. Rocks or rocks as it were. Now, if you look here, what we have is a an envelope that has like some kind of lump in it. Ah! It's, oh my god, it's, it's the, out of focus! It's the incredible creature that would yeah. never come into focus. Look at this. Yeah, stick it up in the camera lens again. Yeah. We're going to get this in focus, one way or another. Okay. Yeah. There he is. Oh! J and B, <laughs> across the top. Fight, 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 fight! J and B, I'm here. I'm interesting. I like to drink responsibly. I love the show. I've gotten down on my knees for J in a public place where, incidentally, I was told that I might be on the show one day. What's taking so long? Love me! Sincerely hopeful, Liza Ann Pavlich. Well, obviously, um, since this is interactive television here, and this person clearly wants to be on our show, watch this. <laughs> oh, I did not hey. my beer! You just took my hey. picture. So this is Liza. She, she wrote in that letter that you just heard just um, asking to be on our television show. And look, we have accomplished her greatest, wildest dream. Oh, my God. These guys are cool, mm -hmm. and I knew it. I could tell the first time I saw it when I was alone on a Tuesday night watching it. When alone? I had, when oh. Alone. Alone. But I drink. Uh-huh. OK. Jesse's got himself a girl, and I want to make her mine. <laughs> and she's watching him with those eyes. And she's loving him with that body. I just know it. <laughs> she's holding him in her arms late at night. You know, I wish that I had Jesse's girl. <laughs> I played along with the charade. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be a reason to change, but I feel so dirty when they start talking cute. I want to tell her that I love her. But the point is, it's probably moot. And she's loving him with that body. I just don't know it. And she's holding him in her arms late, late at night. You know, I wish that I had Jesse's girl. Where can I find a woman like that? Oh, very nice. Yes. It's Huh? Oh, yeah. This is the life. This is living. Now we're living. It's a Easter. Not to endorse any sex shop, but the College Avenue adult bookstore has this thing called the vibrating egg. I don't know what to do with it. It has no illustrations on it. I thought about buying it for Easter. I don't have one. I heard it, I heard it might be anal. Anal. Liza is hip. Liza is hip. That's me. I'm in Bloomington. I'm hip. There's this animal. It's called the capybara. It's the largest rodent in the world. And um, it's like indigenous to Venezuela. I remember doing a report on it when I was um, assigned to Venezuela in the fifth grade. Anyhow, the capybara is the largest rodent in the world. It's huge, like like a horse, like like a crow magnet horse. It like it, it it spends a lot of time in the water because it's big and it needs to cool off. It even mates in the water, but only for like a brief moment in time. Anyhow, the courting ritual was very fun. The the, the natives, the Venezuelans who are um, into Christianity, and it's Easter, so that's why I'm telling the story. During Lent, you can't eat meat or some such thing. So since the capybara spends so much time in the water. The natives kill it and call it fish so that they can eat it. Now, it's a huge mammal rodent, but because it's Lent and because they're not allowed to eat meat, they'll kill the capybara with a gun, I'm sure, and call it fish. And I don't think that's right. Those capybara men, they're suffering. So what'd you do to your chin? That, well, it's my time of the month. On any major Christian holiday, mm -hmm. you can rest assured that my period will start. So actually, you it's appear scab. twice in, the, in this episode. Scab. Because uh, as, as you'll see coming right up here, she was there with Terry. I'm really excited about this. Did you this. save your I'm piece of time? I know. I'm really <laughs> glad that Terry stumbled upon me on his way here. And now I'm already feeling the energy. And it hasn't even happened yet. 
There's going to be some energy and some blood, I think. Should be any blood. It's going to cut a hole into my nose. This is this is Michael, my personal professional piercer, located in Bloomington. <laughs> There it is. And, and luckily, I've like beat the coal that grabbed me this winter. Um, it's betadine solution. Uh -huh. It's the same thing they used to prep you for surgery. Whew. Oh, no. That's a needle. It's going to be shoved through my nose. Laying down with your head over the edge of the table so I can look straight down inside you. And then your head like almost upside down. I'm afraid that the whole screen is going to move when the piercing actually happens because the camera operator, that would be me, is going to have an intense reaction. I just got to find that gap that doesn't have the cartilage in it. It's spring and I want to do something different. I was thinking of tattoos and piercing because my hair is finally healthy. I don't want to dye it anymore. I got to go reasonably slow on this, so mm -hmm. just bear with me and try not to move your head. Get as close yeah. as you can. Ready? Mm-hmm. Close to him. <sighs> Sit and enjoy it. This edge is not bad. So I need to go back to this side to go up this way. I need to go back in from this side. <laughs> How did I get here? This culture shock, man. <laughs> wow. Rising up, back on the streets. Do my time to my chances. So here we are at Culture Shock. It's a it's a little festival here in Bloomington, Indiana, that happens every year. It's basically, as you can see behind me, uh, just an excuse for for uh, Bloomingtonians like myself and others to just let their freak flags fly. They're freaky. Can you hear me in there? Hello, hello. Is anyone home? Hello. There's nobody home. What the hell? Is this some kind of show? Who's job, whose idea of a show was this? It's looking right into my eyes. He's 21 years old. Can you believe it? <laughs> yep. So this is going to be called a cattle prod. <laughs> a what? A cattle prod. An ounce of triple sec in it, which you pour into a shot glass, okay? Then you put pour in a half an ounce of hot cinnamon schnapps. <laughs> and then you hand it to the birthday boy. <laughs> this is kind of a test of bravery. <laughs> Oh, by the way, this is simulated. Oh. Since I last saw you, I would pronounce that as distinctly potable. <laughs> and look at this free thing that we're giving him. A smiling dog, which you can get if you send your address and phone number to a... No, just address and name, that's it. And get on our mailing list, you'll get a free one. <laughs>
are you asking me? Are you going to have it turned on? Yeah. Oh, OK. Oh, should I say something about it's a little five and we're going to go investigate this little five? Yeah, you yeah. can hear some roars and screams in the background of little fivers in progress. So we're going to check it out. Little five's a bike race, but uh, let's here just. In yeah, here in Bloomington, Indiana. And to get things started, we're going to show you some historic footage of this bicycle race from the BCAT archive, um, I think if we can find any. Let me see if I can get a record up here on the computer. Yes, the Little 500 highlights from the 26th annual bike race. Hmm. So well, did you have any footage of that race? No, no, we didn't go. So what the fuck? I want to see the Little 500. Why isn't this tape playing? It's on reel to reel. Well, it must not be digitized yet. God damn it. Well, we need some kind of footage of the Little 500, because just some kind of filler. A Bloomington Breakaway. I wonder what that is. Let's take a look. Um, um, now there's a way to play this, I know. Um, play tape. Uh, I guess I'm supposed to type in. Yes, okay, there we go. Playing, okay, here we go. Bloomington Breakaway. Um, wait, there's no bicycles here at all. All right, so forget the bicycle race. We'll just have to cover the other aspects of Little 500. People get so drunk, they puke everywhere. One year, the fire department had to hose people down. Do, 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 what you gonna do? What they come for you, bad boy, bad boy. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? OK, that, that's the old cops. Cops is in town tonight. And you know, frankly, they're not going to see much of a show because, you know, They've got uh, everything, you know, roped off all the big varsity villas where they tip cars. And I mean, they've got this place, really. If something exciting's going to happen tonight, I just, I really doubt it. Inside everyone's home, though. That's where excitement should, excitement should always happen in your home. And, um, <laughs> and, um, anyway. <gasps> now, we are going to go to some parties. <laughs> I loosened some phlegm there. Ooh, I can tell that. I can always tell it's going to be a gooder. Hi! It's Little Five's time, guys. Little Five that never was. Hello, the Little Five that, without a buzz, the Little Five that never was. <laughs> this is Jenny. Hi. And this is Lisa, and I'm hey, Melissa. We're playing tag. We're playing tag back here. Hi. Would you like a beer? Oh. <laughs> How'd you know that we were back here? Because we just drove by and we saw the yeah. fire. What is this all about? Uh, We're little from five. <laughs> Are you a journalism major? No, no, not really. We just make TV Wait. shows here in town. Kick it! <gasps> oh my God, we can be on the air! that live here. Let's come, come on. Okay, somebody, you know, when they came in, got pissed off. Yeah, I guess it's a sexist thing to say, but I didn't really mean that. Um, just some rowdy boys. You know, they got a bad grade, they couldn't get a date, something like that. And then, what happens over here? Step two of the getting mad process here at this house. And then, you just got so pissed off. You just, oh, God so, damn. Let me tell you what happened there. That hole in the wall? Yeah. The owner came? The hole in the wall. The owner I swear to God, he was so scared. Chocolate doodles and spray enamel so you can make like refrigerator magnets if they are any good, I guess. This is the first little five I almost missed in probably four years. Look, look at the Jim Beam. These guys are hardcore partners. Not to endorse any particular brands of uh, bourbon whiskey, of course. And do notice that it's Jim Beam, J and B. So did you go to see the race? No. Two hot dogs, just one for you, one for me. Is it Dude, that's a little close, man. I'm afraid I'll be taking up your screen. Can you get that closer? Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that, is there, is that enough light for you? There we go. That's plenty of light, plenty of light. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, a little five, dude. It's the 
chance to get. You can drink your beer. <laughs> See you guys. Little Five, the best it gets. Well, I guess around Bloomington, that's uh, it's the pinnacle. Sure. Okay. You know, where it just gets crazy. I remember. I remember one time I was. Well, you don't want to know, but anyway, I thought everyone looked like they were in a Picasso painting, you know? Everyone was just, like, distorted and weird, and people were, like, you know, tearing the shit out of this apartment complex, Walnut Knolls. They were going into the laundry room, and they were just bashing out the ceilings. They were just, man, puking in the dryer and stuff. I mean, it was just unreal. Broken glass everywhere in the courtyard. People diving from the courtyards and, like, almost dying, but, you know. Okay, we're going to be making a rum drink. A rum drink, as denoted by the label. What's it called? Well, it's called a Pusser's Painkiller. So anyway, it says to put some ice in here. And uh, there, there we go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some rum. Two ounces. I'm. Let's see, two ounces. Yeah, two ounces. And then I want to pour some Pusser's in there. Mm, pause. Which I'd like to make an editorial comment right now. Um, bad marketing, pussers. Now, like I was saying, I'm not feeling any physical pain, but I am experiencing a hell of a lot of mental anguish. And about what you say, just general principle. I'm a little disappointed in what's going on around the world. We've got some little squabbles here and there. We got something going on down there in that Bosnia. We always got something. Something's a brewing. You know, over in the Middle East, we ain't got that all figured out yet. And, um, so we put a little nutmeg in there. That's a definitely a quality. Oh, a little. So one thing, I'm going to use this little umbrella. And I just want you to know, see that red thing down there? A lot of people think that's part of the decoration. It's not. It's actually to help hold that umbrella into place. <sighs> I never knew yeah. until somebody told me. And now... You know, and this after the drink, if you drink something with, like, nuts in it or it's got them fruit pieces, you want to use this at the end of the drink, you know, before, before it gets in there and ferments and stuff. You know, you got to dig that out there. So, and we even got one of them decorator. <gasps> Excuse me. Decorator maraschino cherries. You can just stick right on down there by the red thing right there. And then we put it in there. Stir it up a little, making sure it's cold, making sure it's cold. And, uh, oh, I lost, I lost my maraschino. No, it actually, it, it smells like a bridge tournament or something. Okay. Mmm, I would pronounce this as distinctly painless. How would you pronounce it? Gosh, I would say that this drink sucks. This week's erotic video is penetrating the flower, penetrating the yonic flower. Mmm. Ooh, hardcore porn. Mmm. Right here. Ugh. Oh, God. Varsity Villas is regarded as, uh, the little five place of mayhem and total, utter chaos. That's where the, you know, the fire department's been called in and everything. Well, I don't know what it's going to look like tonight, but let's go check it out. One year, the only way, the, the way they got the African American Studies Department was when one little five, they got out there and laid on the track until they got the department here at Indiana University, and I'd just like to say a big thumbs up to that. It's just the mayhem just isn't here this year. The mayhem just isn't here. I don't understand it. The cops is in town and everything. God, Bloomington, why did you embarrass us? Come on. Do something crazy, okay, for the camera. Isn't that how that song went? It went, blinded by the light, like a douche in the middle of the night. Is that how that song went? Did you hear him 
shout, Delta Todd, Delta. <laughs> wow. Oh, no, I didn't hear that. Uh. I guess the Little 500, it's a bike race in Bloomington. You saw the movie Breaking Away, I'm sure. And if you didn't, whatever, because, I mean, some of those places in the, in the film don't even exist anymore. Things are completely changed, so you wouldn't even be able to recognize Bloomington. So, you know, if somebody is com truly, genuinely fulfilled by, by, by their life and they have joy inside of their heart, that is wonderful. But I think 95% of the people in the world hide behind these events. And, you know, I mean, we're going to win. IU's going to win this year, man, because Bobby Knight is number one. And he's our man. And because he's great, we're great. You know, so I think 95% of those people are the ones hiding behind that. And it's just like, man you people oh are the beautiful God. ones I can't, you're, I've tried to succeed tomorrow. my whole life and I couldn't keep up with everything I wasn't given the skills or something uh, yeah. I was born inept I guess to achieve those things and, and you people are the beautiful ones and I am the ugly ones look how I present myself Hey, could you move? You're in my way. And, you know, I'll, I'll start screaming some sort of, like, anti-me, I hate myself, I'm ugly, I'm stupid. I'm stupid! I'm a failure. I'll never amount to anything. And then blood's just gonna spray everywhere. Oh spray everywhere. God. I got a blood plaque. I'm just gonna keep stabbing myself until the blood pack's out, and then I'm gonna collapse on the floor, 
and then uh, my friend Kevin's gonna come up with his Tri Delta sweatshirt. We're gonna pre-park the car, so it's gonna be right there at that corner. You can just pull away, and he's gonna say, "Dude, man, this guy's been partying so hard. Look at this. He's hey, come here, man. I'm gonna bring you this party." He completely is oblivious to the fact that I just killed myself. He thought I was passed out from being so drunk because I'm a party freak. So he's gonna take me to his party and he throws me in the back of his trunk and we drive away. Hey, could I have some of your cool stuff? Because <laughs> I heard that those suicide people always like to give away their cool stuff first. So can yeah, I get I in on that action? Just a camera. Ah! Mm. Hey, what happened the over here? The blood of a victim of society right here on our hands. Look at that. Is that, oh look, this is. Real. I see you on TV. Did you see what happened right here? Yeah, did you see what happened? Where did I you saw it? we were sitting right over there. Okay, no, we came to watch it. Why do you think he stabbed himself? He seemed very disenchanted. Oh. With, the With the world outside. He was talking about himself. And some man put him in the trunk and drove off. Yeah. I wanted to make it a little more brutal, man. I wanted to, to, uh, I dropped my knife. Actually, yeah, man, I'll, I'll, uh, um, I, I dropped my knife and, um, immediately after I cut it and I didn't want to do that actually I wanted to like draw up the traumatic action a little more more swinging more stabbing motion the story that I shared was true I mean I lived this career life in two years in Indianapolis I was doing video production and um, I spent most of my time going out and producing 30 second commercials okay so I shouted this frustration because the job didn't work out. I got laid off and then wasn't able to get back into my career job. So I was working at Subway and I thought, man, I'll go back to school. Yeah, man, that's what's going to save it for me. I'll go back to school because if you got a degree, you're going to make it. And then it's just like, oh, man. I wanted to stab that mentality. I can't do it. I tried, and you are correct. Those are the things that are important in the world. And I'm going to stand out of the way, man, because I'm just breathing up too much air, and I'm taking up too much space. I submit. It was almost a public service announcement. Happened, man. I mean, WIUS, it's a cool radio station. Um, they had a, a um, live music thing going on, an open house. That was fun. I was glad to get in. I get really excited, man. I'm not filled, like, with anger to do this, you know? It's, it's a joy. Strength, man. Strength. You gotta have strength. You can't hide behind weaknesses, man. Um, if people are scared by sh shit like this, then they need to realize, man, maybe I just shouldn't be so damn afraid of things. There were people, there were people watching. I didn't have my glasses on, so I couldn't see what was going on around me at that time. But I've gotten some positive responses about it. it uh, I think it stimulated an emotional response, which is, I think, what drama is supposed to do.